Vaudenat Stupa is a stunning and spiritual place that you must check out when you go to Nepal. Hey, you guys! Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Nepal. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. We're at the God of Wisdom Buddhist Temple in Kathmandu Valley. My name is Bhupendra Gautam. He's going to be our guide today. Baudanat is the God of Wisdom. It's believed to have been constructed in the 5th century, and it's an important part of the culture and history there in Nepal. The temple is surrounded by a large stupa, which is the mound with the dome shape that is used to honor Buddha and symbolizes enlightenment. The temple is adorned with intricate sculptures, colorful prayer flags, and stunning gold-plated statues. As you walk around the temple, you'll be surrounded by the smell of incense, the sound of chanting, and the sight of pilgrims spinning prayer wheels. Yeah. Why are they burning the incense? They smoke carries the good message of Buddha, peace and love all over the world. Down the eyes you can see the nose, yeah? That is not the nose, that is the question mark. Buddha, he want to give us the knowledge that first we have to know ourselves, who am I? That also represents Nepali number one. Yeah. It's the unity, equality. In Buddhism, every people, they are equal. You can get a guide in the stupa area for 500 Nepali rupees, which is the equivalent of $3.80 US. Definitely enhances the experience. For sure. If only to listen to them talk with their cool accents. <laughs> We didn't catch every word. We got more to the experience because of him, thankfully. Otherwise, we'd have just been looking at the pigeons the whole time. No. <laughs> Those pigeons were so awesome. They were. In every stupa, you can find the prayer wheels. In Nepali, we say mani. Prayers are written home. Mani, sot, me, home. It's the Buddhist prayers. Buddhist people, they chant this mantra for meditation. I was definitely intrigued with the prayer wheels again. You can just have a spin. Wow, this thing's big. This is the monastery. In Nepali, we say Gumba. This monastery is almost 60 years old. Belongs to the Taman people. And you can go inside, you can make a, see the beautiful statue of Buddha and his manifestation. Also, monks will give you blessing for 30 seconds. The different bells mean different things. I yes. see they're all different sizes. It's for the communication. In the long time, when the king wants to give some public speech to the people, the oh, bell is supposed to be ringing. Yeah. We were invited to be blessed by the, I believe it was the senior monk. We got to sit down. Close your eyes and listen to the monks chanting. Takes you to another dimension. I honestly felt like I was back in time. You can sense the sacredness of it. Even though we don't practice that religion, you definitely get that vivid sense of how important it is to them and how it can even positively impact and enlighten your life. And when you do go in, please don't forget to leave a donation for the monks. But God, those chanting monks. For as much as I love music and I like my monk chanting music, it brought tears to my eyes. When you're planning your trip to Baudhanat, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First, please be respectful of the local customs and traditions. Second, dress appropriately. Most temples require visitors to cover their arms and legs. Thirdly, you might want to arrive early in the morning. It's the best time to experience the serenity and peace and when crowds are the smallest. Do you know the paintings mandala? When you see the stupa from the top, looks like mandala. Oh. We use mandala for meditation, for protection, yeah. for the positive thinking, for the good luck. I can take you to the school where you can see how they draw mandala. Okay. You can see what color they use. Sure. Because while you are in the Baudanath, if you didn't see the school, then your tour is not meaningful. Right. Okay. We were so lucky and we got to come in and meet one of the teachers and they practice the same art rituals as all of the artwork that is in the temples. The detail is yes. so yes. fine. This is the mandala, from the traditional mandala. This is a source of the positive energy. How long do it take to make? Around this five months work. Is this all free and all free hands are? This is what we call the wheel of life. That's called the philosophy art. It's like the samsara. The main goal of this painting is saying we have to come out from the samsaric world that is one of the possibilities of the human life. That means if we go to another life, from the another life we cannot get a way to exit. So the one of the possibilities of the human life. This mandala says, you know, like this peace, happiness, karma. 
those are we have to collect ourselves. That means we cannot borrow from the another people, and when we have, we cannot share for the another people also. It was overwhelming to learn all about the different meanings of the symbols and the images in this intricate super detailed artwork it's impactful learning what means what and how it can positively affect your life this is the morning time the symbol of the good luck for love compassion, compassion. and to make a good relationship for the family members okay mm -hmm. and yeah, this one is this is the evening time this is for the protection power and energy which one uh, it's too hard. I know. I like. We can go together. I like both. To see how detailed the artwork was, we don't normally buy stuff because we live in an RV. We live a minimalist lifestyle, but we had to. Mom, wait. You don't have the stress of having to find an Uber or whatnot. So oh, it's what? nice having a full-time driver For with you. Sure. We miss you, Selvine. If you don't know who Selvine is, just check out the card above to our Guatemalan series. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.